What's up guys, it's Dman10 here, and today I'll be reviewing and unboxing the USB connector for the new iPhone 5 and other iOS 6 devices. This is the Lightning to USB connector from Apple. I bought this in store for $19, it's a little bit steep of a price, but at the time I really had no choice when I bought my iPhone. Um, gladly enough that the iPhone came with one, but now you can buy third party cables which weren't available before but are now so on the design here it's just showing you it plugs into your device and that's all they give you is just one cord this is the design and uh, you got your serials on the back here and basically I'm just going to open up this box um, obviously I've used this cord before but as you can see here so I zoom in It is an 8 pin connector. Sorry, it's like a bad focus here. Um, and then we got the USB on the other end. I believe it's a 3, three foot cord. 3 or 5 feet of a cord. Um, it comes standard with those these $19 boxes. Um, it also comes in here if I can get it out. Just some user manuals, nothing anyone ever reads. I obviously crumpled it in there. Yeah, it's obviously not gonna come wrinkled like mine did. <laughs> Just kidding. It's in compliance. Yeah, no one ever reads that garbage. Anyway, and that's the end of the box here. Um, now on with the review of the cable. Um, obviously, we switched over from this connector, which is your 30 pin connector, which is all on the old devices. You can see I've had this one for not too long actually. I just bought a bunch of set of old ones. And you can see at the end here, it does wear along. Um, compared to this one, where this is a, this is I got this one the exact same day as my iPhone, and it's still holding up, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, it'll get a little bender, bend here and there, but it shouldn't be too bad. I did find that the 8 pin connector did actually charge quicker than the 30 pin. I have the converter, and you know the 30 pin does the does the job right. It's still five volts, but. I found that the 8-pin actually does charge my phone better and quicker. So I don't know if that's just the iPhone battery or whatnot. But as you can see here on the new iPhone, kind of hard to see, but you can see that the um, connector is smaller in here, and then there's headphone jack and the speakers and the microphone. Um, compared to the old the old phones which just had the 30 pin connector overall I really do like the 8 pin connector I feel like it's more sturdy when I plug in my phone so this is the 8 pin which plugs right in and it's, it's reversible which is awesome so this I can't wiggle around you know what I mean it's not going to come out I physically have to use a little bit more force to get in there but like I said it is reversible 8 pins on both sides with this one when I plug it into a phone or something like that, it always wiggles around, comes out on one side, so I really do like the 8 pin a lot better. Even though it is still a steep price through Apple, I would go third party. Um, just read your reviews first. Um, I have bought other uh, third party cables before in the past, and some of them don't work. So just read your reviews and make sure that you get the right one. Alright guys, so this is just a quick little review of a pin connector I'm definitely happy with it and um, if you want to just stay safe uh, you could probably just go with Apple's cord it's a little steep in price like I said $19 but you might find them cheaper now um, especially online or Amazon I know Amazon's doing a base Amazon basics deal where they had the same a pin connector but they um, copyrighted it in their Amazon um, title and it does work so I know Amazon wouldn't sell products if it didn't work so go check out those guys. I'll put some links in below where you can find some cables for the 8-pin for the new devices. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.